Welcome to episode 120 of The Route, presented by White Whale Marketing. The Route is a glorified sports business coffee chat that has a new guest every episode as we share their experiences and route in sports. As always, I'm Christopher Nesmento, and let's get started. Before we begin, just a couple notes to kind of go over. So if you're watching us on YouTube, you can see here at the top hand corner, it says at The Route Sports. That's our social media handles on all platforms including LinkedIn. So if you're watching this podcast, you're probably working in sports and you're finding ways to maybe meet new people. Our LinkedIn is a great way. So at the route sports on LinkedIn, but we're also on all major platforms such as Facebook, <clears throat> TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, etc. So check us out there. In addition to that, as I was saying, you can find us on YouTube. Um, if you'd like to do so, we're underneath the White Whale Marketing YouTube channel, or you can find us uh, beneath the route playlist. So that's White Whale MKTG on YouTube. Um, additionally, before we get into today's episode, one thing that I'd like to cover is if you're watching this, just take the time to subscribe, like, follow the podcast, rate five stars, depending on what you're listening on. We're on a bunch of the major platforms, Amazon, Google, Spotify, YouTube, etc. So whatever time you can take to just allow us to, to maybe grow a little easier with, with your support, it's much, much appreciation. So so thank you for that. Um, and now, I guess, on to today's episode. For those of you who've been following along with the podcast, you know, at the end of every episode, I like to ask guests about the rocking chair moment. So what the rocking chair moment is where I like to believe I'm going to live until I'm 103 years old, right? And I'll be reminiscing about all the amazing things I did throughout my career while rocking back and forth in my chair. Pretty self-explanatory. But the reason I bring this up is because I want to make it easier for 103-year-old Chris. Meaning every 20 episodes of the podcast, I've taken the time to sit down and update my future self with, uh, with what's going on. It's essentially the route within the route, right? So from episode zero, I'll have the cover photo on my wall, 20 40, 60, 80, 100, and now 120, and in the future 140, I just take the time to maybe update with what's going on, things I've learned, and things that maybe you guys can take away and maybe apply it to, to your own routes. So that's what we're doing on today's episode. Um, prior to, to diving in to what's taken place since episode 100, I just want to provide maybe a quick recap for those jumping in to uh, the podcast for the first time. I started this podcast around my last semester of university, whether it was exam season or just immediately after, the idea kind of transpired when, when I was about to graduate from university. Um, the whole purpose behind the podcast, that's something a lot of people like to ask me is, you know, why, why did it start? So my purpose was to meet people within the sports industry, <clears throat> essentially outside of Ottawa, right? I felt it created a platform for people to share their story. And not only will it be you know, worth their while to sit down and connect with me for an hour, but then it allows me to, to maybe grow my network. But then in addition to that, I thought a great little, you know, added bonus to it was, you know, future sports business professionals um, wouldn't have to maybe, you know, sit down and Google how to work in sports business. You know, that's something I did and that I can still remember and imagine it where I was typing, hey, how do I get a job in sports? How do you become a CMO? How do you do X, Y, Z? And I never found the answer, but my hope is with this podcast um, and for future sports business professionals, you won't have to Google that, right? You can maybe listen to this podcast, listen to all the different guests, maybe are of interest, but I'd recommend all of them because it just shows you there's so many different ways to get from A to B or A to Z or A to one, two, three, right? And you can take things from every single person's route and apply it to yours. And surely I, I've been doing that m myself. So that's how the podcast kind of came to fruition. Um, but then around that time when I started the podcast, I was consulting for a hockey tech startup, just providing a little background. I was doing some marketing and business development for them. Following that, I managed marketing communications at Athletico Ottawa in their inaugural season. And I hosted a 32 school North American esports summer. So this is all around the time or the months after I'm um, graduating. And then following that time, I just realized, hey, this is my chance to take that next step, take that jump. And I want to start a sports marketing company. And it happens to be called White Whale Marketing, hence the logo on the hat. And we've just entered in the second year of operation this past December. 
So now that you have this quick little recap, now we can kind of get into, uh, you know, the tradition of these 20th episodes so I can have some things to reminisce on when I'm in my rocking chair. So at the time that I recorded the last 20th episode, it was, when was it? It was the end of August, 2022. Um, I was on the cusp of turning 25 and I was just about to, let's say, enter a new phase in the white whale marketing journey. Um, and the previous phases of white whale marketing were essentially, let's say phase one was COVID, right? I started the business in 2020, end of 2020, I believe. And we're still going through lockdowns, opening, reopening, and sports were kind of, let's say, hurting at that time period. Um, and during that time in phase one, we had the COVID, and I was also, you know, learning how to run a business, how to run a sports marketing agency. Um, <clears throat> and knowing what I know now, would I have done things differently? Of course. But, you know, I may not have learned all the things I was able to now, right? So that's kind of a, an important factor as well. Um, and, and one of these examples would just be, let's say, listening to my gut, right? When I started the business, I had an idea of what I wanted to do when, when marketing athletes, However, when I kind of started it, I went away from that. And that's because I kind of wanted clients and I decided I'd, I just figured out from there, right? And what I should have done was stick to the ideology I had about marketing athletes, right? Where um, they have to have a desire themselves to market uh, their brand or who they are, etc. So in my mind, you can't force them to post. You can't force them to open up. So you need them to have a desire to to essentially take marketing in their own hands or have a desire of, hey, like, I want to, I don't know, start a podcast, post on social media, do X, Y, Z. And that's not to say they have to have this crazy, unique identifier because I think everyone's so different that we can find something or we can create a defining factor for a potential athlete. But at the end of the day, if an athlete's just doing it because, let's say, they're Asian or whoever wants them to, to do it and they don't actually want to do it themselves – Essentially, there's there's no point, and that took me some time to, to kind of figure out. And I would say that uh, that would be phase one, and then phase two is where I took everything I learned in phase one and started applying them. And in addition to that, I was leveraging my network. Right. So prior to this, I wasn't comfortable with hitting up my network as I felt I didn't have enough value to to reciprocate to them. So I, and I would even say you listening, you know, you need to get rid of that thought because that's really what allowed me and will allow you to just hit the next level. Um, and, <laughs> and it's been such an instrumental part of it all, right? Where in this second phase where I was trying, like finally applying my learnings and, you know, seeking help or even just discussions with others, um, I learned that, you know, fr from these conversations that a sports marketing agency, whether it's small, new big or let's say even old to to withstand the test of time um they couldn't just rely on marketing athletes and i was learning that already myself but then once other people were starting to say it to myself as well that they were in these positions i was like hey like that that makes a lot of sense and i'd say that's where i was just prior to recording episode 100 to provide context about these 20th episodes um and this is what, let's say, the summer of 2022. Um, and then when I finally recorded episode 100, I was about one month away until I turned 25. And I previously had some contracts fall through that was going to allow us to take ourselves to the next phase. But unfortunately, you know, circumstances took place and um, I entered, let's say, a fork in the road, right, where I want to take the next step both personally professionally but you know some things needed to transpire prior to my birthday because i viewed that as a, as a deadline for myself so you know at that time i was presenting to two companies right at the time of the recording for episode 100 and i also had an opportunity to interview for a team that i would have loved to work for but even before i heard back from those two companies prior to um presenting to them 
I knew I had to maybe turn down that interview and go all in on those two presentations I had to those companies because I don't know, I just had a gut feeling that if things were going to go anywhere, I had to put everything on the table and just let things fall. And I would decide what my next move would be after that, that took place. And funnily enough, five days after posting episode 100, White Whale Marketing signed a contract to expand our partnership consulting business beyond athletes and begin working with sporting properties. So it was just funny how that all transpired where, you know, episode 100, I felt I was reminiscing a lot. And hey, like, here I am in this fork in the road. I putting all my eggs into that one basket and it worked out. So that was great. And, you know, since that contract was signed and since that episode was recorded, oh, you know, a lot of work was done and we've been essentially working from scratch with that client to essentially develop their, their, their partnerships. And it's been amazing, right? Where we've been identifying, evaluating, and even just taking inventory on all the potential opportunities we have with them. And one quick thing that I wanted to share just about that was, I find there was like a point in time, right? When, you know, that finally got going and we're taking that and entering phase three of the white well marketing journey. Um, I had boots on the ground at an event for, for the, for this client. And it just felt exactly where I should be. And what I mean by that is, you know, due to COVID when the business started, sports were at a halt. Obviously when you're running a business, there's ups and downs and there's very few opportunities to maybe be working in sports in person, right? Or even just at an event and, and doing and doing work. So when the opportunity came to to be at this event doing these things and working with this new client, it was a full full circle moment, I'd say, right? Where, you know, when I look back to to everything that I've done, right? Whether it's just starting my studies in accounting and then going to marketing and you know, just even just my passion for sports, I felt like there was a balance all of a sudden in my world, as cheesy as that sounds. And everything kind of came together where, you know, just, I remember it was like 8 a.m. I was evaluating partnerships and then just looking at one of the, the signages that they had. And I just looked up and kind of looked at the stage and I was like, hey, like this, this is it, right? Where it kind of took the, the creative, the analytical, and even just the passion for sports and brought it all together. And just being in person at a live event finally, just after COVID was, was pretty cool. So that was kind of a cool moment that, that took place after, you know, the recording of episode 100 and obviously since then a lot of work's been going on and continuing trying to improve that and kind of grow that area of the business but now where we're at and where i see things going up until episode 140 where the next let's say update would be is you know at the moment of this recording it's january 8th it's the beginning of 2023 um i have big plans for, for white whale marketing 2023 i like to hopefully make that phase three somewhat small and make the fourth phase come sooner rather than later for the business and that obviously means continuing to develop things with the current clients but then looking at expanding you know beyond partnership consulting and introducing two additional services to to the business and one of whom would you know beginning around maybe in a month's time where i'd start laying some some pieces in February 2023. I'll leave that for now. But the other one has to do with this podcast, right? Where um, if you've been following the pod or even the route on social media at the route sports, got to insert that again, you may have noticed an improvement in quality when it comes to, to our clips. So we have someone, shout out Taj, working on content to take these elements to, to new heights. So Taj, clip this. If you're a podcast, primarily in the sports realm and are looking for professional clips to grow your brand, similar to the one you're watching now, shoot us a message either at the Route Sports or even White Whale Marketing. And the reason for that is I think that's a, a huge element. That's where a lot of the ways fans and even teams are going to be able to connect with fans going forward and considering I do this podcast myself already and you know I have someone helping me out there. It's like, hey, why not try doing that for others as well and see, see where that like, road takes us. So. That should be an exciting area to, to kind of go into in that in the coming weeks here. Um, and yeah, and I guess from there, that's kind of the catch up, the wrap up, whatever you want to call it. But that's where we're at at the time of episode 120. Future Chris, that's 103 listening to this episode. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you're looking back on all this and hearing all these rocking chair moments. 
But yeah, that's it for our 20th episode, our 20th episode tradition with me, Chris Renesmento. But I look forward to catching up with episode 140 and all of you who are listening. And thank you again for listening. Uh, And stay tuned for next week's episode. It features someone from Nielsen Sports. So you won't want to miss that. And um, yeah, all the best and thank you.